Yes, welcome to ringside, just in time for our opening tag match. 20 minutes of wrestling, two falls, two submissions, two knockouts or two disqualifications to decide the winning side. And what a formidable combination. The heavies on one side, Klondike Kate and Nicky Monroe against Taranwin, now on the canvas, and Julie Starr. Joining me at ringside, Princess Paula. What about this match, Paula? I won't worry about this match. You just sit back and enjoy it. Let the girls worry about it. People may say it's an unfair combination. Julie Starr, very, very light against 20 stones plus of Klondike Kate. Surely they just haven't got a chance. If you can't take the knocks, don't get in the ring. It's my advice to you and anybody else. Well, I really can't see how Julie Starr's going to be able to take on this weight of Klondike Kate. Going for those underhand tactics already. Biting's not allowed, Paula. She wasn't actually biting. If this girl's come in the ring and she's got long nails, she's only doing the, Jeff, uh, the referee's job for him. What do you mean, she's shortening the nails? No, just giving her a, manic a manicure. Well, Kate obviously doesn't like that. This is what you call tactics. It's not whether she likes it or not. She's trying to bring the girl into her. And this girl here has not got a, a dog's chance. The much lighter Julie Starr from Bradford. She certainly got the crowd on her side, but then look, Nikki Monroe from outside the ring pulling her back on the head. Oh no, she didn't. She fell on Nikki Monroe. Well, she seemed to move. A she bit fell quick. on her. I'm telling you, she fell on her. She seemed to move a little bit quickly for someone who fell. As you said, she's far lighter. Into the ropes. The hold must be broken, once the ropes are touched. She'll not live long through this bout. Way too light. But of course she's got the speed on her side, she can run around Kate. Kate's got no chance of catching her should she decide to put in that uh, light advantage. Oh, but having said that, Kate didn't pick a partner lightly. Again, more rope treatment. This is a very strong girl. She's actually pushing her onto the ropes, you know. You can see it. She's pushing her onto the rope. Now she's put her in the ropes. And look, she's using the fist. She's threatening to use the fist. She hasn't done it yet. The referee's telling her about that. She won't use the fist because... You see the thumb up then? The thumb was going to go in the eye. Julie Starr is a wrestler that sticks to the rules. I don't think so. She's already broken them twice that I can see. See, this is painful, as you know. Well, the referee will be getting her out of it very soon, just as soon as he can. He'll never get her out for as long as those two are bouncing on the ropes. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Get me out. She looks well and truly stuck in there. Oh. Now, then, how much has that weakened the arm? Keep it. Here we go again. Nice one, Julie. Trips over and can she pull her down? No. She fell down. She fell down. Klondike Kate at 20 stone. Very difficult to keep down. Now you see the speed of Nicky. Now you see the difference now. That was a punch right in front of us here. I saw that. Clenched fist straight to the summit, not allowed. But you're not the referee, are you? So you sit down and shut up. Well, admittedly, the referee has to see it, but I'm just saying that that's not allowed. Well, don't you say nothing. He just might hear you. But Nikki and Kate don't need to break these rules like this, Paula. They've, they've, got, they've got the experience, they've got the weight, they've got the power on their side, and they're breaking all the rules as well. Yeah, but tell me, what makes you say they're breaking the rules? They're not breaking the rules. We just saw a punch going there. We no, saw I the... didn't see the punch. Well, I did. Well, I didn't. And everyone else around me did. Now, are you sure about that? Well, we'll see if we do it again. We'll see what happens next. Actually, I find these two a very excitable tag team. You don't break them. See that? They are first fall. 
she's dead. Get a shovel, scrape her off the canvas. So there we go, that's the first fall to Nikki Monroe and Klondike Kate. And I must say, when you've got 20 stones plus falling down on top of you, you do know all about it. Will Julie Starr get up? Is there a doctor in the house? And that was Taramwin. Is she dead yet? Second session, of course, the same two must continue to run win from Wales. Oh, I don't think the referee's noticed the switch, but never mind. The match continues. But she's holding onto the rope, so I can see her holding onto the rope. She doesn't want to leave Kate's safe arms. She looks like a mother Kate, doesn't she? <laughs> Girls wrestle the same rules as the men, same conditions apply, all under the rules of British professional wrestling, under the rules of Lord Mount Evans, founded by a committee in the 1940s. Those are the rules they have to stick to. Did, you, did nobody ever tell you that rules were made to be broken? The rules were made to be used, adhered to, and the referee's decision is final. We're women, and women are very controversial. Yes! Oh, what a terrific tussle this is turning out to be. And really the team of Nicky Monroe and Klondike Case seem to be having it all their own way at the moment. But of course they're the most experienced, aren't they? Well, Julie starts climbing. Let's see if she can do one of those flying drop kicks of hers, or maybe she'll try for a catch. Flying drop kick. Okay. Did you see that one? Well, well that's then. the equalising tactics. That's, it's there. That's out of order, that. A bit of their own well medicine, out I of think. order. So these lightweight girls are really setting out their stall here. Nikki doesn't like that, but it really is equalising justice. It's not equal. That was two against one, that. How can you call that justice? On this occasion it was, but you watch the things that Kate's been doing before. You don't touch we'll your mouth, I'm going to slap it shut. Obviously I'm against you and the two girls. I think well. you're very, very biased. I'm just trying to see fair play here, that's all. I'm just trying to... Julie Starr is so much lighter, she's got a tough job as it is anyway. As I said before, if you can't take the knots, don't get in the ring. We're not playing. Can this gritty little battler do from Bradford? She really has problems here today. She hasn't got the weight, surely she hasn't. No, no, she's down. Oh, oh nice move though. That, that was out of order, that. That was a kick in the stomach. Kate was standing too close. If she'd moved back a bit, she wouldn't have got that kick. And this is out of order as well. What's the referee going to do now? He's going to let them off with it, isn't he? Of course. You didn't pay him, did you, by any chance? Certainly not. Should she follow through with that, they'll get a public warning, just like the other team would. Look, two of them in the ring now. What's going on? Let's just see what's going to happen now, because Kate is stuck in that corner. Oh, yes! Well, if you didn't pay the referee, these two other girls most certainly did. He's letting them get away with murder. The referee does seem to have lost control of this for the moment, anyway. He's obviously got no control at all. And again! And I fear that Turan Wynn and Judy Star celebrating a little bit early there. Absolutely. We're against two most experienced um, opponents, anyway. But again, there goes those lightweight special moves. Lock, lock. That was just lock. Oh, 
That's how to demolish an obstruction. And that's not how to knock down the referee. Happens above. Now trying to get some control over this match. He's explaining one in, one out. Do you mean to tell me they don't already know that? He's not even given them a public warning. Well, it's these two that are still in the ring at the moment. The other side, Taran, were indeed the stars. Oh, but they draw. started it, didn't they? They were in first. Looks suspicious and like a punch. Better come up and smell. Actually, I must admit this, Lee, she's lasted a lot longer than I thought she would. She's certainly on her own against two at the moment. Full credit to her, though she is doing well. Not for long. And attacking on the road, that's illegal. Referees indicating for the bell to be wrong. What on earth is going on here? Well, I think it's the end of the match, and has Taranwin and Julie Starr given up the chase, I wonder? The referee just explaining it to the uh, Master of Ceremonies. And that is Taranwin on the floor, and she doesn't look too well, but she did continue that move against the ropes. And they're disqualified! They are disqualified!